Halloween's over, and the grocery stores are scrambling to get rid of leftover Halloween candy and the turkeys are coming out. You know what's coming up next, that's right Thanksgiving. Welcome back to Top 10, today we're going to be looking at 10 things you didn't know about Thanksgiving. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, like the video, and share. And hit the notification bell for constant updates. Now there are many things that are obvious about Thanksgiving but there are some facts about Thanksgiving that most people just don't know. And if you want to find out how Thanksgiving actually became a holiday, stick around for number 1. 10. The woman who wrote Mary Had a Little Lamb was instrumental in making Thanksgiving a holiday. We all know the popular song, Mary Had a Little Lamb, Little Lamb, Little Lamb Mary Had a Little Lamb who was a, uh, I forget the words, but you know the words, everyone knows that song. The song was written by a writer named Sarah Josepha Hale. But that's not the only thing she did. She was extremely instrumental in making Thanksgiving the holiday we know today. Many people think Thanksgiving became a holiday since the days of the pilgrims and continued since, but the truth is Thanksgiving wouldn't become a holiday till over 200 years later. Sarah was inspired by the pilgrims' Thanksgiving, and started a decades-long campaign to make Thanksgiving a national holiday. She wrote letter to five Americans presidents, and finally it was signed legislated to make Thanksgiving a national holiday in America in 1863. 9. Other countries have started celebrating Thanksgiving, America's closest neighbor which is Canada, also celebrates Thanksgiving. Although not for the same exact reasons America does. And the world at large also celebrates Thanksgiving, for example in parts of Europe, African, Asia etc., but the theme isn't the same, in America it's big business, it's the turkey, the Black Friday, the busy weekend shopping etc., many of the other countries just give thanks, just without the turkey part. Eight. Abraham Lincoln signed the legislation making Thanksgiving a national holiday. Thanksgiving had been celebrated here and there over the years but it wasn't until 1863 that Abraham Lincoln declared it by law as a national holiday. Sarah Josepha Hale had been writing letters to former presidents and she also wrote a letter to Lincoln advocating for Thanksgiving to become a holiday, Lincoln liked the idea because it would help unify the country, and would relieve the stress from the previous war. 7. Californians consume the most turkey in the U.S. on Thanksgiving Day. Now California's known for many things, the turkey isn't one of them, but you are surprised Californians consume more turkey I'm Thanksgiving than any other state. We would have thought of Minnesota which is dumb biggest turkey producing state would be the biggest consume, guess not. 6. The day after Thanksgiving is the busiest shopping day of the year. The notorious Black Friday. Usually after Thanksgiving dinner, people then make their way to the grocery stores in the evening, and those who are going to be camping outside will be packing their bags for their overnight stay in the parking lot. After making lots of sales from customers during the week, retailers really Line up over here if you want a wee fit. start to cash it in on the day after in the biggest shopping event of the year. Black Friday 5. The Presidential Pardon each year, the President of the U.S. pardons a turkey and spares it from being eaten for Thanksgiving dinner. There are a lot of stories about how exactly the presidential pardon for turkeys began. Many farmers would send free turkeys as gifts to the President. This would help their companies get free fame, and they could maybe hang out with the President. The National Turkey Federation would each year offer the President a turkey as a gift, however George H. W. Bush was the first President to officially offer it a pardon. Since then one lucky turkey has been offered a presidential pardon every year. And that lucky guy doesn't get eaten, unless I get my hands on him. Yabadabadu. 4. Thanksgiving brought about TV dinners. It's responsible for the first TV dinner, or packaged frozen meals. These days when you go to the grocery store, there's an entire section of frozen foods and ready-to-go dinners just pick them up and pop them in the microwave, but this didn't really exist before Thanksgiving. See in 1951 there was too much leftover turkey, goodness gracious what do we do with it? Let freeze it. And that was the start of TV dinner. 3. Thanksgiving was a day originally meant for fasting. Now the day we all know to be a time of feasting, was originally supposed to be a time of fasting, Thanksgiving was initially meant to be a fast, not a feast. 
The devout settlers at Plymouth Rock mostly did giving of thanks in the form of prayer and abstaining from food. But the Wampanoag Indians, who joined the pilgrims for their three-day celebration, brought their own harvest traditions, dancing, games and feasting from their ancient festival, Nicomotes. 2. Jingle Bells was written for Thanksgiving not Christmas. Bet you didn't know that. We're not going to spend too much time on that, it's a shock on its own. 1. They didn't even eat turkey on Thanksgiving. More than 50 million turkeys are going to be eaten on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is known for turkeys today, but in reality the pilgrims didn't have turkey. It only became a tradition later on in American history. At the original Thanksgiving, they had ducks and deer. And that's a wrap. Subscribe, share and like.